So, your boy Tory Lanez decided to go ahead. Your boy. That's my boy. Marcus's boy. Tory Lanez wow. decided to drop his 80s themed album, Alone at Prom. The nigga's been singing Tory's praises. T- no, Tory actually. Since does. he hopped out the expedition. Tory does actually make really good music. Um, does he? He does make good music. I, I haven't heard any in a while. Let's talk about this album. <laughs> Let's talk about this album. I don't think. All right. Doing. Alone at Prom is finally out. Uh, the 80s theme music from Tory Lanez. The 80s themed album from Tory Lanez. Mm-hmm. And going into this, I know both of us wasn't so crazy about that 80s theme. Because A, other artists have already done it. And B, because we didn't know if Tory Lanez would be the one to be able to capitalize off of it. And sounds like he was making 80s rock and 80s pop as opposed to 80s R&B. So now that the album is out, thoughts? Trash. Okay. The album was trash. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did, I did not enjoy this album at all. He did. He went the way of what we thought he was going to go. There were a couple of songs on here. Color Violet, Lavender Sunflower, Pluto's Last Comment. Everything else is a no for me. That's interesting. Everything else is a no for me. That's interesting. Because while I still didn't come away from this album with anything that I'm going to listen to in the future. It's just not good. There, There's nothing on this album that I'm going to be like, damn, I need to put that on a wedding playlist. Nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. not. Not, not a single track. <laughs> not a single track. But at the same time, no, I guess I can't even say that. Because like you said, there isn't a song that I can go back to and be like. Yeah. That's the one. That's Whereas, the guy. at least with the Rick Ross album, I can say Outlaws is good. Yes. I can say there's a couple. Warm, warm of, Worlds. Uh, with warm with, with Wale and yeah. uh, the future, the Benny song too. Yep, there's there's several songs. I might end up going back and listening to this Ross several more times because there are songs on there that I like. Mm. I don't think that this is going to get a single play again on my phone because I just did not enjoy that's it a, at all. A, that puts me in a weird position because whereas I feel like there wasn't a single song that pulled me. I also do feel like at least I can listen to this album and be like, ah, oh, it's such a weird thing to say. It it, it sounds it could like play a in better- an elevator that I'm in if I'm going to the t- to the let's say I'll cap out at the tenth floor. Anything more than ten floors, I need to get the fuck off that th- that elevator so I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. To me, there are two types of Tory Lanes. Yeah, right. There's the Tory Lanes that's very deep into his R and B roots. Right. And, and can actually hold a tune from time to time. Mm-hmm. Then there is the super synthesized Tory Lanes that sounds like the fucking weekend. I don't want that. There, there, there's already a weekend yeah. and a party next door and, and a whole bunch of it. and a whole bunch of other niggas that try to sound like them. So how about just be Tory Lanes? Be Tory Lanes. Stay in Tory's lane. crazy <laughs> like i think i have to give him something for at least attempting something e- even though it was already but is thing. it really that creative if it's already an established genre for right. someone even else even though it was already a thing i think i ha- at least have to give him credit for trying something creatively that he himself hasn't done and getting out of a box of things that he himself has not done but the album didn't produce any songs that I could say that were decent or pulled me any kind of way. I just think because it was a little bit different in some ways, in some ways I like this a little bit better than the Ross album, but I can't say definitively that this was a better album. Oh no, 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 I can't say that this, no, it's not even a question for me. There's nothing that I liked about this album more than the Ross album. But I agree. I agree There, there. I can't bring myself to say that because at the end of the day, this album wasn't a good album. No, it wasn't. It was not a good outing for you, man. And I, I don't even know if I can pull myself to rate it even better because, again, there's no songs that that pulled me into this album at all. Like at the end of the day, I'm still just like, Tori, why are you making an '80s album, bro? <laughs> like every song, it was just like, why are you doing this? See, like it was weird to me because I felt like Tory Lanez was still in a space where coming off the whole shit with you know who, right? Mm-hmm. 
Chicks Tape 5 was probably the last time that I felt like Tory Lanez was a legitimate force in the lane that he occupies with The Weeknd, with Drake, with, you know, with those guys. As a, as a singer? As a harmonizer. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I, as I a see harmonizer. What you, I see you know what I'm saying? The Travis Scott, Drake, Weeknd kind it's of not, well. Like, those guys are not, I don't think they would even argue with you in real life that they're actual vocalists, but they harmonize. I think The harmonize. Weeknd can sing more so than any of the other ones. Did you see The Weeknd at the Super Bowl? Yeah. Did you hear him? It's much better than what Drake and, and Travis Scott does. Yeah, but again, I don't think any of them can actually sing. You know who can sing? Future. You know who can sing? T Pain. T Pain. Yes, T Pain can sing. Those so these those are guys who can harmonize, but they can also actually they have like legitimate vocal talent. Out of all of those that we just named, Drake probably has the most, but even him, even him is he's not he doesn't have a lot of range. I would think the weekend. Out of all the names you've named? Only because I've heard Drake sing live, and I've heard The Weeknd sing live, and The Weeknd's performance was much worse. That, but you can chalk that up to a bad A bad outing. And he was doing a lot of moving. He was dancing. He was... You know? And he had that shit in his face. Yeah, no. Nah, this, this isn't one of Tory's best at-bats. This isn't... One of the best albums to come out. There's nothing I can say good about this. Really. Post Chicks Take Five, he was in a place where he was probably still trying to hammer out his part in the market, like carve out his piece of the pie. And I felt like with these last couple of projects, they didn't really do anything to level him up. I would say post New Toronto 3. New Toronto 3 was his, his rap well, you know, he okay, he comes sure, out sure, with sure, sure. The new sure. Toronto is the rap, and then Chick State, Chick State was the, more of the, the singing, yeah. Okay. But okay, I would say after those two, then yeah, it's 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 been a little shaky, it's been a Even little shaky. Star was also a good album, I think. It just because of the whole Megan Thee Stallion situation that he decided it, to comment yeah. on, it kind of took a back seat to the actual music, but you know. I, I do sure. agree. It, the 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 music is obviously at this point in his career because of everything that happened, playing a backseat. But it shouldn't be for him personally. Yeah. Right. Like true. like I understand he's got all the other stuff going on, but for you personally, like you were at a spot where you were ascending, maybe not to become top dog, but you were somewhere in that orbit. You were he you had a a very day. good trajectory, and it's like, all right, well. You seem to have quieted down all of the stuff, but why not in the meantime continue to establish yourself as the the top flight recording artist that you, you're aspiring to be? Instead, I, you've let yourself middle into the middle of the road, and it's like, how many years do you think you got at this, fam? I would be interested to see what he does with this next at bat because that'll tell me if... It just seems like he's more focused on, like... More of the shock value shit than he is the music. But that's my point. And I think if that's he, where this concept back came to, from. Uh, making a record like "Love Me Now" or "Memories Don't Die." That's when I fucking loved. Tory that's what Lanes I'm saying. So if he comes now. back and says, "All right, I'm not gonna do any kind of '80s theme. I'm not gonna do." I know there was an album that he was supposed to do a Latin theme. If he comes back to it and just says, "Look, I'm gonna just come back to the R&B and rap side of it," then all right. That's probably how he could have improved this. Is like. All right, so it's an 80s concept, right? But to differentiate myself from the weekend and continue to be myself, why not do an album of 80s remixes? That or because there's so many different types of 80s music, like you said there's there's the R&B, yeah. there's obviously the pop, there's the ballad, there's also, love rock, there, there's, there's metal, there's rap, there's all kind of shit that was going on in you the 80s musically. Your versatility in that and he just stuck to trying to be fucking pop. yeah, all 80s, all 80s pop. That exactly what I said I didn't fucking want. And there's no way to show your versatility if you're just going to stick to one and One it's already been done. Music. Like we just we watched it happen already. He won a Grammy. Like it's it's over, bro. The lane is closed. <laughs> just <laughs> you just gonna try to force your way in there, huh? It don't matter. Yeah, no, nah, it don't he, matter. He's gotta come to his next album thinking that okay, back to basics. I think that would have been perfect. 
a whole album full of 80s remixes like that that's Tory Lanez that's who you are Tory's Lane you gonna keep pushing this yep. Tory's Lane joke yep. aren't you yep stay in Tory's Lane any other thoughts about the uh, Alone at Prom album uh, five. Oh wait oh Tory sorry no not five <laughs> uh I pff, man three okay I'll give it a four because it, it 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 wasn't that good, but it wasn't that far from the Rick Ross. Like I felt the exact same way about both of them. I no, feel like no, 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 no. But mm-hmm. Tory Lane's album was a a. The a fact that I album. I'm doing this while I'm listening to Ross lets me know it is infinitely better than anything that happened on that album from Tory. Well, there's Lanes. there's songs that actually pull me. Like that, I said, that, that, on, no. On the Ross album. So burn this one. Start over. Yeah. Start over. Throw the whole thing away. Four out of ten. I think that's the lowest rating I've given all year, so that says something to Throw me. the whole concept away. Tell us what you thought about Tory Lane's eighties concept album. What's the name? Alone at Prom. Alone at Prom. Give us your rating one through ten in the comments below. And make sure you check out our playlist below full of album reviews. We also just reviewed Jose. the Rick Ross album. And so uh, tell us what you thought, like you said, and uh, make sure you subscribe because we do uh, big reviews for all the big albums as well. So see you there.